I wrote this girl song, I hate it so much I wrote this girl song, I think it really sucks I wrote this girl song, it makes me so sour I now should be singing about this next hour We're gonna look at Freedom Radio What it's about, I really do not know I spent this whole time angry at myself For writing this whole goddamn sky song I honestly really do hate it So goddamn fucking much <laughs> 14 hours of garbage day and we still don't know what we learned? In the room this hour, we have Achilles Heelys, Boots Rain Gear, Adam Bozarth, yes. The Intern, Bunny yeah. Bread, Zarla. Yes, one. Zarla. Nerd two, two, yeah. Cheapskate, <laughs> and your artist, King Lou Fernandez. Hey, Zarla, can you harmonize with yourself? Does that work? Can you try? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Good enough. Try some Mongolian throat singing. You'll get it. <laughs> Need a backup sound system for that. All right. So uh, we got uh, Freedom Radio this hour, and I don't really understand what it is, but I oh, think Kanye oh, oh, Sutra oh, gave us. Achilles, um, I was on the radio for many, many years. I'm sure radio is a universal thing, so I can probably help as we go along. Don't you worry. Oh, and, yeah. oh, and, and I will definitely lean on your expertise. Don't worry Thank about you. that. Thanks. Yeah. So, but I'm just going to read Kanye Sutra's uh, t- uh, summary real quick so we can get an mm-hmm. idea of what we're oh. in for. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> I found this weird survivalist anarchist, but also somehow libertarian, pro-Trump site by accident. After Googling around while trying to put together a nose fetish document. <laughs> no! <laughs> he can't so last hour. <laughs> That sounds much more pleasant than the things inside a nose fetish. <laughs> True. Fair enough. <laughs> Fortunately, the time travel conspiracy slash alien forum episodes are my favorite, so it worked out. Freedom Radio builds itself as the largest philosophy discussion in the world, but at the same time, they also have a huge banner at the top asking at the top of the forum asking you to donate Bitcoin to unlock unlock Philosopher King Files. That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly what Aristotle had. Oh, so also okay. radio DLC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, their founder has debated Noam Chomsky, Alex Jones, and the ripped creator of Dilbert. All at once? <laughs> so, in a row? Let's, uh, let's, come jump. In, comes out. <laughs> let's jump in. Let's find out what is the best freedom radio show of 2015. Um, I'm MMD, and what are your thoughts? Uh, intern, Rose Codex. I also really liked A Brief History of Your Enslavement. What pisses me off about white guilt, a plea to an an insane world. Although the call-in shows are truly my favorites, it's just hard to remember the call by the name of the show a lot of times. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, What was that episode with that angry white guy in it? (laughs) Adam, you're Sabras? Uh, it's kind of like asking which one of your chicken you love the most. I love them all equal. <laughs> uh, Zarla, you got the sayers? They control humans with words. From the moment I become politically aware some 10 years ago, I noticed that above all, we are lied to by the manipulation of language. Why is this important? Because people tend to think in terms of the words that they use. Some view our masters as benevolent because they provide services. Since people vote on who to steal from and why, it's voluntary. Choosing to live within those borders is consenting to their laws. Ugh. Laws is a big one for me, and the perfect example of why this is so important. Think about it. We know of things like the law of gravity and the laws of thermodynamics. These are called laws because they are binding upon everybody. By calling a command backed by threats of violence laws, they are poisoning the well by making people think they're real, they're binding, they're objective, and therefore cannot be questioned or altered. It's a subliminal way of getting people to submit before they've even had the chance to think about it, and it works! No? <laughs> mm. okay. uh, hey, uh, Cheapskate, are you Catherine? Uh, uh, sure, I'm Catherine. <clears throat> Top five. Number one, Gene Wars, R slash K selection theory, part two. Number two, Catherine the Jones. truth the truth about rape culture. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number three, important 
evidence of failure, what nobody has told you. I believe that you're the experts on this. <laughs> Number <You're> four. <laughs> Number four, sexual market value, the market of promiscuity. Oh, really? Money for. They're yeah. practically giving these deals away. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we have a market of promiscuity somewhere in the Philippines. Come on down, to the sexual market. We got values. <laughs> Number five, why it rocks to be a single mom rebutted. <gasps> oh my. Hi. Hey. Oh God. Oh, my name is Ross Tronic, and I'm gonna list you all of my favorite uh shows of Survival Radio. This uh, beat no, is sorry, Ross not Survival Tronic. Radio. Uh what is it? Freedom Freedom Radio? FDR? Freedom Franklin Radio. Delano Freedom Radio. Roosevelt. Radio. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. <laughs> Franklin Delano Radio. <laughs> Let's make into president in the year twenty eight eighty nine. Okay. FDR two eight eight nine. The truth about the race war. FDR two nine one six. Get hired now. Get the job that you want. FDR two nine six zero. The truth about single moms. FDR two nine six six. Why Nazism? Nazism was socialism and why socialism is totalitarian okay. FDR 2970 the burden of proof proof empathy edition FDR 2977 it's got like a hollow cover on it the truth of George Washington FDR 2986 an introduction to capitalism FDR 3001 the 97% consensus global warming unmasked FDR 3042 15 Reasons to Date a Single Mom, Rebutted, FDR 3049, The Truth About Welfare, Past, Present, and Future, FDR 3055, The Death of Reason, Why People Don't Listen to Reason and Evidence, FDR 3073, Why It Rocks to Be a Single Mom, Rebutted, <laughs> FDR, I don't like single moms. FDR 3085, yeah. How to Destroy the World, A Recipe for Disaster. <laughs> FDR 3105, The Truth About Immigration and Welfare. FDR 3109, Why Was I Wrong About Socialism? FDR 3113, <laughs> The Truth About Gun Control. FDR 3121, The Flat Earth Conspiracy? Call in show, November 5th, yeah, 2015. That's my favorite, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, if the Earth is flat, how come there are mountains? Check. Mm. Mm. Uh, the and, the giant tree. And th That's th my smooth earth conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> FDR 3123, what pisses me off about white guilt? Oh, that one came up before. <laughs> it did. It's worth it. <laughs> Yay! Yes, we passed the 9,000 so mark. Much. Things are getting a little nuts wow. in my video now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yay! I, I gotta say, unlike the content of this document, you are all very great, and we really appreciate you out there. Thank you so Thank you. much, everybody. Yeah! yeah. Uh, it's yes. amazing. Yeah, like the I I I really did. We not. love you as much as we hate single moms. I could, <laughs> I, I could not have imagined reaching this amount at this at this point uh, in here. And also, like an enormous credit to uh, to Sanguinary Novel who put together all those videos, uh, combining yeah. every gif known to man. <laughs> yeah, it's it really it's great. More beautiful. It's a four seconds. It's great. <laughs> all right. Well. uh I'm tired of all this shit you, that's already been made. I want to know what you guys want to see in the future. So what future FDR presentations would you like to see, uh, Bunny Bread? Well, uh, Staff just did the truth about Snowden. And, <laughs> and the truth about Detroit's bankruptcy will be out in the next day. Also, we're going to stay tuned to relevant news events for subject ideas. But this thread will be for any and all suggestions for future presentations. <laughs> I think I'm going to work on the truth about circumcision next. Right? But if there's anything you'd like to see, like penises, or anything you'd like to help put together, like penises, let's use this thread to exchange that information. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, Adam, are you the ro you're the Robin? <laughs> Truth about public schools, given that it's the biggest indoctrination center in history, and a lot of people still think it's the way to educate children. Uh, I'm Nathan T. Freeman. As I've pitched privately, the truth about Lincoln and the end of slavery would be great. 
in general, if the impact of the Zimmerman slash Martin video is is an indication, oh, hello. doing videos on the high hype media topics is really effective. So mm-hmm. perhaps it's perhaps the truth about Ariel Castro, the truth about Anthony Weiner, yeah, the truth that about the exposed. <laughs> or or the truth about the royal baby this last would be great with the whole highly successful murder clan angle (laughs) when the royal babies are born they have to immediately strangle somebody with the umbilical cord (laughs) i know that like we all understand this, but I think it's really funny that the that implicitly the the truth about implies uh, complete and utter lo- insanity and lies. <laughs> you know, we're just going to take what's factually true and just make up a bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah, we have to like we have to imply that there's a hidden secret truth that we can get to the bottom of while yeah. it's still like all over the news. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, uh, Cheapskate, can you take Voluntarist Mitch? Sure. I really like the truth about circumcision idea. Me too. I also like, I also <laughs> oh, like no. the truth about the royal baby, but it uh, may be a little late for that. Are the for two these related? Type of, God. Is he a yeah. toddler now? <laughs> <laughs> he's already killed. It's a little late for that, and he's holding the dead baby in his hand. <laughs> For these type of presentations, I think the topics that have the most chance of going viral, like the Traven Martin one, are topics that are controversial and where stuff can really bring a different perspective than the average person hears in the mainstream media. <laughs> different, parentheses, wrong perspective. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Instead of the horseshit, it's bat shit. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, I think to round out this stuff, I want to hear the intern tell us about what Will Torvald wants. Uh, an honest conversation with Martin Scarelli. Good fucking luck. <laughs> yeah. He recently endorsed Trump and any conversation about big pharma, scientific research, the threat of antibiotic resistance, the Wu Tan clan. <laughs> would be awesome to have. Oh, the Wu- now, Wu-Tan are clan. you allowed, Bunny Bread, are you allowed to reveal the secret of? Hand Not clan? at this time. Not <laughs> uh, for well, if you reach my donation incentive of four hundred twenty dollars, yeah, however much I said, I said some amount of money. I'm going to segue into something real fast. Um, I can say shit for you. <laughs> yes. Look, right. this is my idea, but Boots said I had to shoot it in here somewhere. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I talk for money, and then I think of parody shit, and you can say the thing, and then I will come up with the things. And if you were privy to rap episodes, you know I am, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm good at coming up with that shit. There. What's our minimum dollar amount for that? Christ, I don't know. I can't remember. I was trying to look it up. Uh, probably uh, $44. Does that sound about right? 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Okay. Stop me. <laughs> it's up there. Okay, great. Wonderful. That's great. Next person to donate $44 or more gets... <laughs> gets to say shit. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. I had two different ones. I should have probably... Uh, who cares? <laughs> That's one. <laughs> I had three different ones. We'll, we'll do one the other one after we get The other one. one's come up with shit, and then the third one is uh, say shit into a camera. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Achilles, I may have thrown us off track. That's okay. Uh, so I think, <laughs> uh, Zarla, I've heard that um, you refuse to pay a certain thing, mm, and your name is Ellie Sante, 35. I refuse to pay my student loan debts. The banks are criminals. The governments are criminals. Their contracts are not valid. As an act of civil disobedience, I refuse to pay, and I am proud to defend that decision. Please let me know what you think. And nobody does. <laughs> nobody yeah. does. Right. And well, we thought about, about it. About it. Uh, congratulations <laughs> to Sherman Tank, the winner of Bunny Bread Sand Shit. Uh, Damn. He'll get in touch with you so you can figure out what, sir, what, what topic of shit... Uh, 
Yeah, you say. want him, you want him to say uh, he'd probably prefer it not to be Mega Man, although he is a bit of an expert on the subject <laughs> now, so he could probably pull it off. No, no. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> when it comes to the, I come up with shit. I absolutely refuse Mega Man from here on out. <laughs> Mega Man. I'm not going back to that well. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think I want to eject out of this last topic and go to um, go how- back to snot. Yay! <laughs> yes. I would like to talk about how well red flags can be hidden, and I was hoping to hear that from Adam Bozarth, uh, uh, who's Marlin. Marlin, uh, red flags, how well they can be hidden. Yeah. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. You'll find Hi. it. PG. My, name, my name's Marlin. <laughs> A phenomenon I'm being reminded of lately is the idea of women not having any clue that the man they'd marry would later on become violent psychopaths. Countless of times I've heard women talk of other women they knew who had no idea they'd be physically abused mm. on their wedding day or on, or later on in the marriage. Is this avoidable with self-knowledge and social awareness, or is it completely possible for a sociopathic man like myself to be so well at his deceptions <laughs> that women literally have no idea that they'd be abused? If okay, never mind. Can, no, <laughs> never, never fucking mind. <laughs> what about my question? What about my sociopathic? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, ask your question. Fine. Uh, if you, I don't know. I didn't, really didn't want to. <laughs> That's fine. Never mind. Yeah. Let's, you know you... what? Let's fine. You know what? Bunker buddies. Let's get in here with these bunker bunker buddies. <laughs> yeah, bunker bunnies with benefits. Oh, bunker yeah, buddies with benefits. Cheapskate. Tell me about that. Uh, friends with benefits, you say? No, who who should I date, cheapskate? Oh, okay. Um, I'm torn between two bad choices. Atheist equals overwhelmingly leftist. Conservative equals overwhelmingly religious. I'm tempted to take the frog's advice and find a Christian woman. What do? Insert a fucking 4chan Pepe meme here. Kill self. Got it, okay. (laughs) Done. Uh, buddy, Brad, your name's Pod. <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? My name's Pod. Rhymes with God. How you doing? <laughs> All right. So, are we getting a trickling of anons lately, or have I just not been around enough? Anyway, I think the focus should be to find a woman with a rational methodology for resolving disputes. That's what I'm looking for. You know, that and tits. <laughs> That's something that I would assume you wouldn't learn on the first date. But the tits, on the other hand, yeah. (laughs) But about a month or so into it, you should get an idea, right? So, how long have you been listening to the podcast, hmm? And have you been going (laughs) chronologically? Or, like, whichever one looks like it got the biggest tits. Anyways, I name's Pod. And my name's Bunny Bread. And, yeah, ShameBoy69 and Sherman Tank, I will... Submit shit and I'll say it for you. Congratulations, <laughs> you both have forty-four dollars a piece, or you did. Congrats, uh, Boots. I heard you. I heard you walked out on a date. Yeah, I'm not dark yet. And that's also my name. <laughs> I was on a date tonight. This woman Ooh. was super lefty, hating on Trump the whole night, saying mm-hmm. how horrible it was that Trump wants to build a wall. She was certain that Trump was pro internment camp for possible terrorists. Huh. Okay. What a reach. Okay. Yeah. How'd that turn out? Yeah. I held my tongue. Later, I mentioned how I thought it was crazy that person can be put into prison for doing a drug. She replied, I absolutely think a person should go to jail, jail for doing heroin. Okay, she can fuck off. Yeah, everybody here can fuck off. <laughs> you guys can go fuck off. Like, everybody. I replied, I replied, so if I do heroin, you think I should go to prison? Absolutely, she says. I grab my I grab my things, walk away. Wait, his my gear? Kid. Was he shooting up right there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. So why do you bring up heroin in particular? <laughs> so satisfying red flags at the start her profile mentioned nothing about politics except one little word at the Uh, end 
feminist. <gasps> Why Jasper. did this man think that he would get along with this woman? <laughs> did he think he would talk her out of being a feminist? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, watch out. Just in general, watch out yeah. for feminists. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, last time Marlon didn't really do so well, but Adam, I want to give Marlon a second chance. Why? Can you tell me about Friends of Benefits? Uh, yeah, let me look. Yeah. Uh, what do people think about having benefits? Someone you aren't particularly dating but get along well enough TP have sex with? Is it emotionally healthy or unhealthy to have this kind of relationship? This can also range from monogamous friends <laughs> with benefits as well as polyamorous. Uh, cheapskate, you have something to say to that. <laughs> Why use an own a hole that comes with added risks? What? Why use a dildo that has the same? What? I, dildo I see no yep. <laughs> I see no benefit to this type of entanglement. Just a sad denial of potential underlying costs. For me, I have pornography. If I want to let one out without commitment, then there's more flavors of lube material than there is of Baskin Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> I am about ready to baseball nut. <laughs> uh, hey, the intern, I think your name is G.A. Freeman. <laughs> I will say that from my point of view as a male, I get along with most everyone well enough to have sex with them. Whoa. <laughs> to me, okay. getting along with them does not indicate that it is a worthwhile or a wise decision to have sex with someone. Okay. Well, I am whatever. an older gentleman now, and so I say this with all openness and suggest you take it with a grain of salt. In my experience, sex always changes the relationship. For me, if I had a high level of energy and interest around someone and then I had sex with them, I would ultimately lose interest in them. Therefore, for me... Casual sex or easy sex meant that someone would never be more than a friend whom I've had sex with. This is my opinion and anecdotal evidence that it is difficult to pull off, quote, friends with benefits, but I have no moral argument or direct evidence that it is unhealthy. My experience is that most people are generally not self-aware and are generally unhealthy, and, those, and so these types of relationships can be difficult or dangerous. <laughs> parenthetical crazy pussy Thanks. thank you don't, don't sign your shit <laughs> am I Sarla. Hannibal yeah you're Hannibal yeah <laughs> this is absurd why would someone want to have sexual casual sex with another person tell them that you're not qualified to say that it's unhealthy for one's mental health i.e. if you have to ask why then surely you don't understand it why would I? Because it's fun. Yeah. Almost everyone would agree that having a variety of friends to have fun with is a good thing. So there's one reason right there. I see different friends with different demeanors, demeanors, dependent on what mood I'm in. I like to have sex with different female friends depending on what mood I'm is. They all tend, <laughs> they all tend to be different in that respect. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me that women are different from each other? No. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Because I enjoy the female body, and sex is the most hands-on you can get. Just like watching the countryside on TV isn't the same as hiking through it for real. And when enjoying the countryside, I don't just visit one area for the rest of my life. I like to enjoy and explore different places I've not seen before. I like to visit desert landscapes, mountainous landscapes, woodlands, and oceans. <laughs> the same way I like skinny women, chubby women, muscular women, and all of those in various <laughs> color combinations. I have my preferences, and just because I prefer one thing less doesn't mean I like to never have it at all. Whew, shit. <laughs> yeah, Damn. my name's MMX2010. <laughs> Women experience their peak sexual market values at age here 23. Hey, <laughs> you're arrested. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> and so their sexual promiscuity is experienced in the mind of an immature young adult. I'm just picturing but... you guys sitting at like a little ticker tape machine. <laughs> so short, so <laughs> sexual. <laughs> I, I, this clearly shows why men are better, but men experience their peak sexual market values at age 36. So their sexual <laughs> promiscuity is experienced in the mind of a mature adult. Yeah, when it comes oh. to sex and maturity and men, 
Those yeah. all well together. Thirty-year-old men. I'm just very mature adults. Yeah, just clear-thinking dudes, and with <laughs> well, until you can afford to see Endgame three times. That's true. You're That's not true. a mature adult. <laughs> I can uh, go by myself. Thank you. Yeah, it's and better well. that way. Um. <laughs> Since the primary goal of any society is preventing men from realizing their peak sexual market value, any because society. of any society, <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna move on because that's I can't get better than that. Um, <laughs> um, hey, Bunny Brad, I heard you want to tell you about Young Earth Science. That's right. I'm Bill Nye, the Young Earth Side guy. <laughs> My rap name is Young Earth Science. Yeah. <laughs> Little Young Earth Science. Little if Earth you Google Science. Young Earth Science with quotes, you get 18,000 plus hits. Oh, if my you sound bing cool. the same, you get 154,000 fucking items. Go figure. <laughs> what actually is Young Earth Science? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, claims that history and science reveals a planet that's thousands of years old and not billions, no sir. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Why yes is often dismissed by women at the age of 23. <laughs> or... <laughs> oh no, but... he's back! But... <laughs> yeah, I don't want to think that the Earth might be past the peak the date of its sexual market value. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck a hole in the ground every day just to make sure, just to gauge it. <laughs> Thank but consider sure these words from R.F. Diffendahl from his article. I'm really Earth. sorry I'm here right now. It <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Victor. We'll get through this. Yeah, Victor. Yeah, this is the problem, not the snot. Earth in four <laughs> dimensions. Development of the ideas of geologic time in history. Time cube also. <laughs> to, some extent, to some extent, the arguments about a short Earth history of a few thousand years versus a long history of billions of years are still going on today. Most to some extent. Yeah. <laughs> Between me and my next door neighbor, yes. <laughs> Most natural scientists support the long history. However... Some people, including Richard Milton, Mensen, agnostic, science journalist, well, and 36-year-old man, support <laughs> the idea of a short one. One. Be rational. This planet is younger than you think. See? Rationality. I proved it right there. <laughs> Many people believe it's one thing, but one you person... You see any wrinkles on the planet? No. <laughs> well, Some I of the thought best. it was older. Yeah. Some of the best evidences for a young Earth include no fossil trees with thousands of rings. Duh. What? what that, okay. They yeah. don't keep growing after Trees don't fall down. Shh. It's okay. <laughs> Contradictory radiometric dates. Solar effects on decay rates. History only goes back thousands of years. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Totally. Huh? Yeah. Why weren't those, those... trees were keeping track... So, yeah, why weren't those resilience. why weren't ferns and cockroaches writing things down? Because <laughs> they're fucking stupid. That's why. <laughs> the human genome is going downhill. Period. What? Yes. Where'd that one come from? <laughs> I said it. <laughs> trillions, Guys. trillions of Neanderthal graves. Where are the graves? <laughs> <laughs> Where are the graves, guys? Come on! Oh, there yeah. the Neanderthal, <laughs> grave, Neanderthal yeah, there were... stones. Where is the Neanderthal cemetery? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Boots, Boots, your name is Will Torbald, and you want to set the record straight. My name's Torbald. Are there five guys on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same guy that was really into the Wu, the Wu Tan Clan. <laughs> <laughs> the Wu Tan Clan. <laughs> <laughs> The following mm -hmm. statement does not represent the views of FDR, any of its members, nor any of the staff. It is only my own. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> ah! Thank you. I'm the admin. That's completely Ooh. unacceptable. Your account has been suspended. <gasps> Go Freedom. fuck yourself. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Now there's only oh. five members on this forum. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, at Cheapskate, uh, I heard we got some really good news um, about the world at large. Can you tell me about that? Yes, good news. Seems 
like nuclear bombs do not work. Hey, 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 hey what do you know? You. Which means High fives all around. <laughs> which means nuclear bombs don't exist. Which means uh, there will be nuclear no nuclear war. Right. My sources, right. my sources on this one. are for a bro. tripod site <laughs> and a Google a, search results. Google a, search a Google results. Norway uh, <laughs> search result for do nuclear bombs exist. <laughs> And it says no. no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would spread it far and wide if I were you, since it is not cool to scare people like this. But of course, it benefits those in power, so they don't care whether they would know it was a hoax or not. I got the lead from a guy <laughs> stopping by the the end of the world video <laughs> on YouTube. And I, I've informed myself about all the other lies in society and have minimal trust in popular claims to begin with, so it was easy for me to be open to the idea. Personally, I, I am not <laughs> I am not one hundred percent sure yet, so maybe I should have said nuclear bombs probably do not work. But I need to do more research, but I think it is important to get the message out fast because it changes a lot and takes away a strong grip that states have on people, Imo. <laughs> do another Google search, perhaps. Yeah, so it might not be true, but if it gets people not listening to the government, then it must be good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the intern, I, I think you have some things about uh, the ISS not existing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your your A four E. In response to his sources saying the ISS doesn't actually exist. I have gone through some things about China faking their spacewalk and also heard about this before. I've gone the, alleged, mm -hmm, the alleged moon landings are total fakes without question. No, no so questions allowed, folks. I would not be surprised if ISS was fake. Okay? Stanley Kubrick filmed nuclear bombs on a studio. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask nuclear bombs yourself. In the show. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been to the space station? No, recently. Have you seen it up close? Uh, know anyone who was there who you trust to tell the truth? That's I know. the same feeling I have about Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Silly questions. But it's kind of important. If all we see are video or images of something, then we never really know if they are real because it is super easy to make videos and images on computers. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank yep. you. Um, <laughs> my name is Professional t -bagger. Fuck my drag, right? <laughs> <laughs> A4E is part of the disinformation campaign. He's a double agent. Shame on you, A4E. Oh. And then, so, 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 yeah. I don't really okay, want you to read this fight. next thing because it's really bad, but can you go down to, oh, fuck, it's still A4E instead? Uh-huh. Oh, fuck. Bad. Oh, fuck it. Still A4E. The whole point in being informed regarding these topics is that you will see there is a severe lack of evidence and major huh. problems with physical laws being broken. Mm -hmm. I have extensive experience debating people about all the topics. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. Uh, I debate all of it work. away. I can imagine, imagine in order, you starting think with aardvarks. I am easily swayed by everything on the internet, but I know what I am talking about. Okay? Get out in your bingo last, cards. I like in the last seven years, <laughs> in the last seven years, I have spent at least 600 hours on the 911 staged event. I will call it a spade a spade. I have spent at least 250 hours getting informed about health and what the body needs from nature to function well and how artificial chemicals <laughs> reverses your health. Reverses? <laughs> what? Reverses health? I have spent at least 250 hours on the faked moon landings. I have spent at least 150 <laughs> hours on the non-existing link between HIV and AIDS and what people actually get AIDS from. Are these Is it chemicals? Life? Here to find out. Real I have hours spent at least hours. 100 <laughs> hours trying to find evidence for gas chambers, but all I found was evidence against. Bingo! Yeah. This guy really put in his 10,000 hours of crazy. Yeah, yeah he did. I yeah, have spent perfection. at least 100 hours on the Sandy Hook staged event. Fuck I have you! Spent 
80 <laughs> hours on the Boston smoke bombing drill. Fuck you again. Wait, save your fuck you till the end. Hours yeah. Finding natural cures for cancer, like hemp oil. <laughs> I have spent at least 40 hours brushing off all the lies about Osama. 40 hours? What? Just one work week, you lazy <laughs> son of a bitch? I have probably spent another 200 hours on miscellaneous stuff. <laughs> hey, all right. Well, no, hey, guys. <laughs> That's legitimacy right there. I have only spent around eight hours on nuclear bombs so far. Thank you. Like, I'm, I'm not easily swayed by everything on the internet. Here's a list of every single conspiracy that I believe in. Every <laughs> single <laughs> moronic thought the internet's ever produced. It's like internet conspiracy oh. greatest hits list. And also like Dude. eight hours on nuclear bombs, and the result was one web page and a Google search. I'm not an idiot. I'm a fucking moron. Yeah, the only thing I'm really getting from this is that he's a very slow reader. Like, at 250 hours, <laughs> yeah. like, moon landings. The, the na, na, nine oh, moon 11. landings? That's Just watch that one documentary over and over fair. again. <laughs> well, uh, you know, speaking of idiotic ideas, uh, uh -huh. uh, Zarla, uh, mm -hmm. Neil Adams has something to say about the Earth is growing. Let's see. So, ST434U. In this presentation, Neil Adams argues that the upper tectonic plates fit together perfectly in the Pacific Ocean, as well as in the Atlantic Ocean. And he argues that geologists know this, but are silent about it, because of the repercussions that this realization would bring. What? <laughs> what? Brought down by big geology. Yeah. He, argue together. he argues that because of this, the Earth must be growing. He also argues that continents do not move or rotate, as, but that they stay in their place above their plates. They are just moving away from each other because the planet is growing. Fuck the geologists are right, geologists are wrong. <laughs> I first watched this three years ago, and I still find it interesting, but I haven't done any research on the topic to be able to form a strong opinion either way. I have basically <laughs> zero knowledge in the area of geology, and I haven't done any research into this guy's claim. Also, I'm not quite sure of what this would imply if it was true. I'd like to know your <laughs> thoughts. I can't form any of my own, obviously. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, my name's Tell me what to think, please. <laughs> my name's Prairie. My first question was where the oceans came from, since it started out with all landmass. You mean where all the extra water came from? Well, as I understand this, all animals create water, H2O, when they inhale oxygen and break down carbohydrate, releasing the CO2 into the air and combining the oxygen with the hydrogen to create water and extract the energy from the carbohydrate. Plants uh, do the opposite. They break down H2O, releasing oxygen into the air and binding the hydrogen with the CO2 they breathe in which they use to store the sunlight as energy in its building blocks and thereby create carbohydrate. Therefore, the total amount of water on the planet can change. Another possibility is that a lot of the water was frozen before. All right. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Adam, you've got one last great opinion from Greg. <laughs> from who? From Greg Merwa. Oh. Personally, I am 100% convinced that all planets are growing. <laughs> Pangea is incorrect. The Big Bang is incorrect. I also think the yeah, universe Just tell is that right to the Big Bang's face. Throw <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, that gauntlet That's down. Incorrect. I also think the universe is growing rather than expanding. It is a sporadic and random growth of galaxies and solar systems. The sun creates the solar systems and the planets create the atmospheres is that answer your question <laughs> oh yeah no yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm feel fucking enlightened now you're welcome thank you <laughs> um boots mm -hmm. i heard that your name is erwin leonardo online <laughs> and you have some erwin leonardo <laughs> <laughs> you, you have you have some ideas about yeah well some important things <laughs> yeah Steam, Twitch, philosophy. Well, I was really clipping there. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that was perfect. We got it. You can only pick one. I'd never seen the uh, <laughs> the, the volume <laughs> thing on OBS just go to solid red and stay there for a while after I stopped talking. So, <laughs> does anyone here play Steam games and are familiar with Twitch? No, no. Well, one awesome. or the other, never the both. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna play online games anyways. So why not combine both? Whoa. <laughs> what? Talk about philosophy while playing games, I mean. 
there's a huge <laughs> niche in the realm of gaming when it comes to people watching live shows. Huge. Yeah. Huge niche. Yeah. yeah. Huge niche. Any yeah. thoughts? Cheers. Bye forever. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> hey, buddy, Brad, you're JD Stemball. <laughs> <clears throat> Any old games are anti fought as a general rule. <laughs> so, so, it would be an interesting juxtaposition, at the very least. <laughs> I can imagine a gamer discussing the non-aggression and the violence inherent in the state while playing Counter-Strike, which is the perfect personification of modern war. Uh, <laughs> Cheapskate, you have a great rebuttal from Luke's Felix. Uh, on the contrary, what? video games are an <laughs> art form... <laughs> and art, like science, philosophy, <laughs> aesthetics, art like science. <laughs> I'm, uh, I think and I'm making things like Riley. everything else comes from some shit. <laughs> Black, <laughs> like white. <laughs> <laughs> Just as one can use language to communicate truth or lies, video games can propagate violence or the non-aggression principle. And oh. that's what I said. Yeah, buddy, bread, you can't let that stand. But you said it non aesthetically. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Touche. Uh, <laughs> back in the day, my crack cocaine was Eve Online. <laughs> A libertarian playing Eve Online? What? Yeah, I know, I know. I, I just. <laughs> Rocking weird back stereotype. It had to happen at some point. <laughs> oh, wait. I was not suggesting that all games are anti philosophy. They are mainly a distraction so that people don't sit around a fireplace and discuss philosophy. That's the two <laughs> options in life. You can play video games. You know how many people philosophy. burn up every year from discussing philosophy? <laughs> Bringing philosophy to gaming would be quite a feat, as there is a significant dose of it. Why not both? Why aren't people already bringing philosophy to video games? Hmm? Hmm? They have. It's hmm. called fascism. <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't drain all my HP makes me strong. I can't yeah. help the number of land parties that I've helped run and attended over the years. Period. I thought I'd mention that. I don't recall a single moment when the NAP or Socrates was mentioned. <laughs> you know what? Let alone discuss at length. No, what? I can't believe it. That can't be right. Yeah. It's like they were distracted. <laughs> uh, my name is Yuan Confucius. Video games are the modern literature. And good literature <laughs> always offers tons of philosophical topics. I can envision doing something like a philosophical literary analysis on the video games such as Mass Effect. Bioshock! Mm, dun, but then, ag dun, dun, then dun. again, <laughs> this deviates from the original idea of live casting. What was the original? In like, how and why? Why was yeah. the original and, antithetical to and talking about shit? Shouldn't you deviate? Yep. And nobody's ever done this. Nobody's ever sat down and deeply analyzed the video game's themes or anything like that. That's a completely empty niche. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of YouTube, um, <laughs> I was hoping that Zarla should could tell me about uh, something I need advice about. <clears throat> I need advice. Should I drop out of college and start a business? <laughs> first off, hi. It's my first time posting. Looking forward to talking to y'all. Uh, I really would appreciate your feedback on this sort of thing, especially yeah. if you've been in a similar position. What's Second your name? Off, What's your name, oh, baby? Sorry, my name is Anarcho Carpetalist. <laughs> Carpetalist. <laughs> Carpetalist. Yeah. Yeah. Anarcho Carpetalist. <laughs> Second off, some background. <laughs> Last year was my freshman year at Colorado State University studying environmental engineering. I hated it, and the school in general, for a variety of reasons. Right now, I'm taking a semester off. We're allowed to take a single semester off my university with no penalty or paperwork, and I've been living at home with my parents. Next semester, I have to make the decision uh, to either go you've back You've already to dropped out of college. <laughs> <laughs> apply to or transfer to a different college. Or three, drop out. My mom really wants me to go to college. She feels like I might go down an undesirable life path if I don't go to college. 
I would try to convince her that I'll be able to be successful without college, but I'm not 100% sure myself if I would like to go to college or not. The main reason I would want to go to college is just to get a degree as a backup in case my entrepreneurial endeavors don't work out. Probably would get a degree in some sort of engineering, either electrical or mechanical. I know with a fair certainty that I want to be an entrepreneur as my profession, and then I just ramble off into nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're dead now. Hey. Like somebody, somebody cut me off. Like yeah, yeah. for you, <laughs> uh, Adam. Your name's Pepin. <laughs> I don't have a clue as to what you should do. Thanks. That's should that's I... really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> should I become an entrepreneur? Seems like the f- question to ask. This is where you want to think about the risks, the investment of time and resources need. Failure plans, how success or failure will impact your future, and so on. If the answer is yes, the second question may be, do I need secondary education or additional training for the field I wish to go into? And if you want to design some kind of video game, some schooling you? <laughs> may be rather does. helpful. If you know nothing about managing finances, a few courses might help. Goodbye. <laughs> if I knew I couldn't fail, I absolutely wouldn't go to college. A success to me would be to create and build up my business to the point that it can sustain itself, and then I can either sell it or continue expanding it. I want to feel like I'm actually making a difference in the world by making a useful product that no one has ever thought of before. Not just that, but I want to empower the causes that I'm passionate about through my new technology. Note is, that I never say exactly what it is. <laughs> is this Theranos? <laughs> I want to sell the concept of a thing. In my utopia world, I would be a full-time serial entrepreneur who starts business after business okay. Okay. and doesn't have 100% success, but the failures aren't so drastic I need to take up other jobs or go on a huge amount of debt. I absolutely your don't need utopia college. Has your utopia, yeah, your perfect vision, yeah. like yeah. <laughs> your absolute ideal fantasy is that Failure I don't fuck up free. too bad. Look, I don't have the imaginary power to envision a world where I don't mess up, okay? Yes. That's too much for me or anybody. <laughs> I absolutely don't need college for this utopian vision of mine, but I'm still not sure how much college would help me in case it doesn't work out. What am I making? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. I want to try doing stuff in a failure-free environment, <laughs> but I don't know whether or not I should start college. <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy. Well, venture capitalist in the failure field. I noticed you've sort of ended running up out of running out of document here all of a sudden, but uh, we could jump back up and find out why there's so few women are anarchists. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, they also yeah. they tell us right at the end of the document what he was actually working on. Oh, oh let's well, hear about that real quick. Yeah. Yes. Let's see. Oh, uh, let's. Where is it? Oh, okay. So, all right, guys. After thinking it over for a while and considering the risks and different opinions, I've decided I'm not going back to college. I have backup plans in case things don't work out, and I'm going to continue to work full time on my business. Thanks for the advice. All right, you. Good for you. Yeah. What is it? What, what, so where's the narrator? You <laughs> now the narrator's come in. His revolutionary right. product. Good. Good. His revolutionary product. Is in an Internet of Things water monitor for your fish tank that emails your water balanced off. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. It's all the gold. Shit, man. Six, Didn't want to fail. Seven. Well, he can't with that idea. Sure. <laughs> Already backing. <laughs> so it kind of seems like uh, maybe these libertarian assholes really fucking suck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. We'll okay. give you that idea. Uh, I'm gonna need you to back that up with some evidence there, maybe written down. <laughs> Oh, unlike I know, them, I have been in a ta- YouTube video. YouTube videos always tell the truth. <laughs> 300 hours of research tells me they <laughs> suck. <laughs> Hold on, let's just Google away. Watch um, a 300 hour video about how giant mountains are trees. <laughs> yeah, no, let's just, what did you guys learn? What did what, what we learn, F Plus? <laughs> oh, I don't know what I already learned, but I will learn uh, how bad the second Jedi movie sucked so bad. So I'm going to go to YouTube right now and find out. Thanks well, that's, a good, that's, that's a good point. I don't know how that didn't come up at any point during this. That's true. It was lack it of Star did. Wars. We didn't the document just... must be too old. Yeah. I, I learned that the real issue that America is facing is that America's youth is spending too much time playing video games and not discussing uh, John Paul Sartre or <laughs> Jacques Derrida. Well, playing Fortnite, yeah. No, they have yeah, to do them at the same time. Yes. Yeah. A very rich and in-depth 
thing while live streaming too, while talking. <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't know if you saw the new the newest Fortnite update. Kant does the flo- does he flosses? So <laughs> <laughs> I learned that the F plus is part of a misinformation campaign suppressing the real knowledge about HIV. <laughs> the truth. Well, that's about fucking H- true. That's <laughs> just truth true. F plus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have learned that some people are just so fucking smart that they can't stop by learning all the things that are true. They have to learn all the things that are not true as well. And that makes them more smart. Yeah. Yeah. Smarter in a way. <laughs> are are right things better than wrong things? Uh, yeah, if so, say, if, yeah, back up your argument. Yeah. <laughs> are we ever going to learn about single moms? No, we never did. Uh, if, I, I Check didn't. off single moms. <laughs> Why would you want to learn about them when they could just be rebutted in an instant right afterwards? That's true. So, yeah. In a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just I think stamp rebutted. I think you could probably get like 50 podcasts out of that one. So, <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks a lot to Lou for uh, being with us doing the art for the last two hours. You're fantastic. Mm-hmm. Lou. Yeah, Lou. Thank yeah, you. Lou. <laughs> Lou, Lou. And uh, we're gonna be back in uh, very shortly. Uh, Lemon's coming back to us with me, Adam Bozoth, Jack Chick, Cheapskate for a second hour. Zarla, uh, yeah. continuing her late night shift. <laughs> um, I'll stick around until you kick me out. <laughs> and Shell Game doing the art. <laughs> we'll be back soon.